everyone, and welcome, welcome back to our Wobble Dogs adventures here in the laboratory. I, and I do hope you guys are ready for something adorable. Look at this. Look at this chaos. We actually have a milkshake over here being led around by Cerebus and a witch who are both tugging and playing with them. Everybody is playing with the dog cores, which I think is kind of hilarious. It looks like we actually have Cerebus trying to hoard the dog core inside of the new den that we have for our goth dogs. The little, the little temple sanctuary, you might say. And Milkshake is just trying to get around to get something to eat and finding that, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! You guys, I can't believe that witch was clinging that heart to milkshake. That was hilarious. Also, hello, Pastelish. How are you doing? Uh, if you could, I really could use some more ectoplasm. Pastelish seems to be having the best time. Oh my gosh, they are having the best time playing with Cerebus. I thought Cerebus was really going through a rebellious stage, not wanting to be a goth dog anymore. You know, going through and getting like lighter coloring like this. However, oh my gosh, and there goes witch again. Which is going ahead and just like chewing all over Milkshake. Poor Milkshake. Milkshake's just trying to get something to eat. We do have a lot of teeth, so maybe Milkshake is one of those dogs who's gonna eat all of these baby teeth for us and become very, very glossy. All right, Milkshake, if you wanna come over here, there's not a lot to eat inside of the graveyard right now, but we do have a, a few bones that you can go ahead and enjoy. Oh my gosh, Pastelish! Maybe the ghosts don't appreciate having the bo their bones like eaten, the bones of the past eaten. Oh my word. All right, here's one tooth. Maybe we'll let Milkshake like eat. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Pastelish, you are being such a bright. First you're like chewing on Milkshake and now you're levitating away the very teeth that Milkshake was about to try to eat. That is hilarious. I can't believe what a little, what a little like, Oh, 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 who just launched this dog core at us? What is that about? Is that Alan Om downstairs, like, playing in inside of our gigantic... Wait, who launched that dog core? Alan Om... How did that dog core launch itself in here? We didn't have any other... Oh, ah, we didn't... Oh, my gosh, look at Pastelish is chewing on a bone. Pastelish is stealing the bones. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys, I thought we would be focusing more on our giraffe dogs or our garden dogs, but I'm telling you, there's just absolute chaos and hilarity going on with all of all of what we've got happening with our goth dogs right now. So we might go ahead and focus on trying to like puppy them and just get them to adulthood because this is, this is getting a little bit chaotic. Uh, I do need to actually go ahead and have a little bit more ectoplasm. It seems that witch doesn't have any food in their stomach right now. Which one happened? I guess you're just too busy playing and not eating. So I'm gonna have my my girl Espion, who's so good at making us ectoplasm, go ahead and eat this candied apple. Please, please Espion. Espion's been amazing at like helping us make a whole bunch of ectoplasm. There we go. And then uh, I'm gonna pick Witch up. Witch, this is just, you, you have what goes around, comes around. You were chewing on there we go. You were chewing on the tail of Milkshake. Milkshake now chews on your tail. That's how it works. Milkshake, if you want to eat a few teeth and then we'll have you go ahead and puppate, that might help things out. There we go. Give you a little pet. We'll go ahead and let you puppate so that you become a young adult on our way there. And then which you don't have a lot in you right now. I would like you to have more ectoplasm. But it doesn't look like I'm going to get that wish to come true. Alan Om, you're also ready to pup eight. And Alan Om actually has a lot, uh, a lot in them in terms of like the bacteria, the gut bacteria. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them pup eight. There we are. And Cerebus, Cerebus has some really good gut bacteria in here, including some rare ectoplasmids. But I do need Cerebus to focus on eating ectoplasm. What are you doing? I love how Espeon is always like, free the children. You can't keep them locked in here with me. That's cruel and unusual. And Espeon's just like constantly freeing the kids. Like every time I'm over here trying really hard, 
to go ahead and make some sort of cool little little corner where we can really focus on eating lots and lots of ectoplasm. Wouldn't you know it, Espeon levitates them straight out so that they're not going to be stuck. It's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. All right, now come eat this ectoplasm. I didn't think you finished that, Cerebus. There we go. And we're gonna try to get Cerebus like full up on ectoplasm before we actually let them puppate. But that means that they're gonna have to resist this gigantic pile of pumpkin pie. I might need more ghost for this, but I can only have so many ghosts out. All right, look at Espeon, Espeon, you're so cute. Espeon, are you trying to levitate this little one? Oh, they're so cute. All right, they're having a good time. Uh, meanwhile, Witch, I really wanted Witch to be able to go ahead and maybe get more ectoplasm, but I don't think that we're gonna have that wish. So we'll go ahead and puppet you as you are. All right, there we go. I'll try to focus on the goth dogs this time. And then let's come over, Espeon, if you would eat this pumpkin pie. Thank you. And then Cerebus is ready to puppy, but before we do that, one more ectoplasm. They do have some, they had some high tier ectoplasm in there, but you have to watch out when they're this full. There we go. We'll praise for that. And then let's puppy. Whew, oh my gosh, everybody is in puppation except for little Doggo. Doggo, how did you escape from, oh my gosh. No, you've been eating things that aren't meant for giraffes. You need to stay in here, doggo. You're meant to be a giraffe dog. You're supposed to stay with Mia. You and Mia need long legs. And if you're wandering away, you could be eating anything. Oh my word. Mia, look at Mia's really cool noses, you guys. Oh, I love it. She's so big. She's so big and her nose is so shiny that if you look at her nose directly, it disappears. <laughs> oh, I love it. So her metallic pattern has actually gone down so we can see a little bit more of her body like coloration, which I like. And her legs are getting longer. I don't know if they're gonna be- <gasps> Mia! Mia did it, you guys! Mia actually, oh, oh, there's an escape route in our dog pen now. That's how Doggo managed to get out. Oh, you guys. Oh, I need to fix that really fast. Okay, that's not what we want. We, I know this sounds bad, but we don't want that escape route. We want, there we go. Maybe that will help out so that now we won't have escapees. Okay, that's what we wanted. There we go. And Mia did it, you guys. I thought we needed legs that were going to be a lot longer than that. But we actually managed to go ahead and hatch a mutated dog with very long legs. Hard one floor. Darn it. I was really hoping that was going to be the celery sticks, but that's okay. That's okay. I think the celery sticks are probably either one of these or hatch a dog missing only its left front leg. Um... So we will just carry on. We will carry on and do our best. But that means we have our giraffe dogs. Our golden giraffe dogs. I did not expect that to happen so fast. Wow. I've got to think about that. Like now I need a new project and it might need to be the extruded dogs um, just for like that completion. But maybe I'm going to start working on the mysteries. I think we're going to start working on the mystery challenges. And I'm going to do a little bit of research. We are almost 100 episodes into Wobble Dog, so I feel like I should know, like, what those challenges are. Huh. I'm going to work on that. Also, good job, Espeon. Please continue to be my little, my little ectoplasm factory back there. And uh, let's go ahead and let's hatch up these puppers. Let's do Witch first, because she didn't really have a lot in her genome or in her biome, so I don't think she's going to be too different. <gasps> she's actually really different! Witch, look at you! Oh my gosh, why is she so cute? She's like shrunk. She kind of reminds me of a little witch's hat. Like, doesn't she? She has an ambiance that just kind of indicates witch's hat. Her tail size has gone up, yes! Body girth has gone down, body length has gone down, no size has gone up, and glossiness has increased. Welcome, witch! Okay, so even though I thought she would, where, how, what, but you weren't anywhere near that spot. I won't ask questions. I won't ask questions if I am not exactly sure if I'll enjoy the answers. All right, let's move the, if I move the pupa down here, I can probably yeet them through here. So yeah, actually that'll work out very well. 
man, trying to set all this up so that we have like proper experiments is sometimes a little bit tricksy. If I was back in my, <laughs> if I was back in university, we would have a lot of points deducted for cross contamination, but that's okay. All right, milkshake, let's hatch you up next. Jeez Louise, I have a lot of dog cores everywhere. Hey, milkshake. Milkshake! Oh, look at the shiny glossiness! I'm actually really, really glad that we fed Milkshake so many little tiny bones and teeth. Uh, as odd as that sounds out of context. Because it does mean that now they're very glossy and they're getting a more like white tone to the body, which is really fun. Nose size has gone up, but nose and ear glossiness has also increased. Nice, nice. Really, it's interesting. Milkshake has a lot of the gut bacteria that says that they should go ahead and have bigger tails, but the Cotti Cotti bacteria doesn't seem to be taking as much like prevalence as the Bacto bacteria. So I used to think these were just kind of listed in order of like alphabetical. That's clearly not true. I'm beginning to wonder if these are starting to be listed in order of like which genes actually are the strongest and the most likely to be displayed. Because if that's the case, that would, oh, hi, witch. Oh, we're just digging out. <gasps> yes, which is expanding the little den. Yes. We have our little tomb. The tomb is being expanded. Good job, witch. I'm very proud of you for that. All right, let me clean this up. Alan Om. So I might explore that idea of if the top genes, or like if the top bacteria listed in that happen to be like the strongest ones. I don't know if that's true or not though. All right, meanwhile, <gasps> tail size is up on Alan Om. Nose size has also increased. Snout rotation. Has apparently gone down a little bit. I do love the little snout. I want that rotation to be sharper. And I like the tiny little metallic nose. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a little, a little tiny bead, a little gemstone. All right, I'm so proud of which. Praise for removing that dirt. Oh, well, okay, Al and Om ate their own cocoon. That's fine. And then let's hatch Cerebus as well. Come on, Cerebus, darker colors, dang it. Ah, <sighs> and Cerevis is still being a little bit of a rubble. The back leg stance and the front leg stance, like all the legs have gotten shorter and closer together. Body size has increased. Metallicness has just barely increased. And they have completely ignored our attempts to go ahead and try to get them to the point where they can become a darker dog again. So if the theory is correct, the ectoplasmoids need to be higher than Lucicolum and the Contra. Huh, there's the wider, the wider stance actually went the opposite direction. So all I can really hope for at this point is maybe if we continue to just constantly feed Cerebus ectoplasm, we might have some luck. So I'm gonna actually move Cerebus out of here. Oh, whoa, okay, that's fine. I think they're really happy. They seem to like it when you just like yoink them out. Probably because they've spent most of their entire life being levitated. Speaking of levitation, Espion, good to see you. Do you want to go ahead and eat this pumpkin pie? There. Thank you. All right, we'll clean that poop up while we're at it. All right, and Cerebus is taking a nap. We actually rock them to sleep by spinning them around in the ground. That's fine. All right, meanwhile, somebody... Oh, actually, I think... Uh, I think it was Pastelish who levitated this dog core up there. I'm just gonna leave that for prosperity. Uh, and I think everybody else is doing okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, I think we're getting somewhere. Where, I'm not sure, but we're getting there. All right, I'll clean this up a little bit. Lots of dog cores to go ahead and keep down in this part of the graveyard. And I'm still debating Still debating if I should go ahead and make some sort of really adorable little, little like ritual center down here. I might, I just might. Also, I wish my mushrooms would spread faster because they're so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, and Mia, 
Mia, good job on getting us our long-legged dogs. So now I kind of think we can take down the barriers, free the giraffe dogs, and start getting more really random, really wacky genetics going on in here. And I am going to do a little bit of research to see if I can maybe make our way through some of the mystery mutation achievements that we need to work on. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Whoa, Mia, that was amazing. Uh, amazing, you might say. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.